Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, it's time for the weekend top and bottom, and it is indeed Friday. So, for those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go around the wheel by the elements. It's Leo season. Leo is a fire sign, so fire, earth, air, water. For those of you who don't know what order that goes in. Same as the zodiac sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, okay. If you feel so inclined and you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign readings. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watchers are always welcome. Okay. Without further ado, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What does the weekend have in store for you? What does the universe want you to know? Oh. Ace of Swords and Strength. Hmm. Possibly some new communication coming in. Maybe with a Leo. Possibly from an air sign. Could be an interesting connection. One that may require a little bit of trust on both parts. Hmm. I'm hearing they may try to tame you. Hmm. Okay. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Four of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. In the past position. You may have ignored a cup that someone or something, be it the universe, tried to hand you because you just didn't have the patience for it. Good possibility. Not a lot of time on your hands to let something fruit, perhaps. <sighs> Fast forward a little bit. So the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. To throw a clarifier on that, but I see some semblance of happiness, but I also see a return or a downward turn of events. Possibly a karmic connection. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Maybe you not wanting to end a cycle because you were happy. It's coming in for this weekend. Oh. Huh. The hanged man reverse, temperance in reverse. Oh my. Hmm. Emotional hang-ups, possibly some more impatience, possibly some negative energy. Home. <laughs> Something new coming in. Possibly hanging on to something old. Huh. Well, you know what they say. You can't start a new chapter without closing out an old one, fire signs. Universe, source, and spirit. 
Can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for my fire sign friends, please? For the weekend of August 1st and 2nd. more about this Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? You didn't come out. You don't want to talk that bad. Four of Pentacles reversed. Cups reversed. Ignoring something that was trying to be handed to you. Cut off in communication, letting letting something go, releasing something. Why is the seven of pentacles reversed here? Perfect reversed. Don't have the patience for it. Possibly ignoring a divine connection. Just trying to regain balance. Maybe you didn't see something coming because you just didn't have time for it. You didn't want to see it. You ignored it. Still letting other stuff go. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Let's fast forward a little bit again. Ten of Cups. Trying to regain your balance. I think some of you may have put on a face that you were happy and you were okay, but you're still struggling with a connection that just wasn't, wasn't there for both of you. You have a hard time moving forward from it. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? the upright. May have been a Scorpio you're dealing with. I also have Gemini on here. Leo. Pisces and Sagittarius. Aquarius. Taurus. Virgo. No. Aquarius, Taurus. Why do I get to fix signs screwed up all the time? Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Yeah. One more on this Wheel of Fortune reverse. 
Pardon me. Spiritual transformation. Don't want nothing to do with the cup. That's okay. You took... You couldn't put any more time into a connection. You had to let something go. It bummed you out. Tried to put on a face, but... It hurt. The connection was still very much there for you. Had a hard time moving forward from it. Allow the spiritual change. Allow the evolution. Not taking cups. All right. Well, you got communication coming in this weekend. Why is the hanged man reversed here? Two of Wands. You're still in the process of letting go of the past, moving forward, but you still haven't accepted it. You're still hung up. Three of Wands. Part of you is still waiting. Are you waiting for a new ship to come in or an old ship to come back? That's the question you gotta ask yourself. Why is temperance reversed here? Eight of Swords. Lack of patience, and negative energy between you, still all up in your head about things. Queen of Swords reverse Hermit. Probably got a little bit of a negative attitude yourself, and you're still healing. You're still walking that spiritual path trying to find that light. It's okay, fire signs, to let yourself heal totally and completely from something before you take the next cup. At this point, you're just talking. And it's okay to just talk. It's okay. You don't have to take the cup. Don't feel obligated to take the cup. When you're on a spiritual journey. You got you got to find self-love. Don't just put on the face. Be the face. Find your happiness within you. Find your joy within you. Your advice. Death in the upright, ace of pentacles in the reverse. You have to allow that death cycle to happen. before you can expect a planted seed to grow. You can't start something new if you got something old hanging out around you. With a fortune in the upright, two of swords in the reverse. No matter what decision you make, it's going to be a painful one. But this cycle has to close out. That's what some cycles are just meant to do. And you're not meant to know why. You'll figure out why years down the road. You'll have your aha moment. You just might, might not be having it right now. 
That's what I have for you, fire signs. Enjoy the weekend. And just sit down and talk. Feel it out. Trust yourself again. Maybe you need to tame your own inner beast of self-doubt. Go to the bar. Have a drink. Just don't jump off the cliff until you're ready. Okay. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does the universe have in store for you this weekend? Two of Swords, King of Cups. Okay. Some of you could be taking off the blindfold to see a full cup before you. Or at the very least a cup. But you may not know what's in it. Okay. I mean, it's being held by the King of Cups, so it has to be something good, right? has to be. In the past, we have the sun and the nine of pentacles. <sighs> Happiness and independence. Being good on your own. Filling your own bank account. Being strong and independent and you're happy. Okay. Standing in the sunshine, walking the sunlit path, good by yourself, next. The Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Some of you could have been dealing with loneliness. It's not so easy being independent. I, I totally feel that. But once in a while, that sun goes behind a big dark cloud and it gets a little cold and lonely. Some of you may have come in with an offer. Hmm. It's strong, it's stable. I mean, can't do much better than the King of Pentacles. You really can't. Throw a clarifier on that in a minute. coming in this weekend. Six of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Mm. Victory after the battle and still holding on to something? Still guarding something? Hmm. Earth signs, what's going on? The 
you have mystified me. But that, that's easy to do. I've been up for very long. It's been a weird week for me. Been super tired. I don't know if I got the flu or what's going on, but I've been super tired and super drained. Why is the sun card here? The moon and the two of pentacles reversed on top of the sun. some of you like living in a state of false happiness possibly some of you may have presented to the world that everything was good but there was an air of mystery there a little bit of imbalance You know, too much sunshine is not a good thing. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Lovers reversed. The world reversed. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. What's up, reading cards? Open the door. Okay. Cool. Mm. Makes a little bit more sense now. You were good on your own. Possibly someone may have tried to make a comeback. Possibly. But the connection wasn't there. Like, one of you felt it more than the other. Maybe you decided you were good by yourself. That leads us to a Five of Pentacles, for sure. Maybe you had to boot somebody out into the cold. Strength. Give me one more on that Five of Pentacles. Oh, that's a big black cloud, isn't it? Being out in the cold. Didn't quite heal from it though. Finding your strength. See the strength card. It talks about trust. It talks about finding strength. We can also talk about a connection where there may have been dramatic differences between you. This negative energy flow and a lack of healing could have been a Leo or an Aquarius. I also have Gemini and Pisces.
Okay, one more on that, please. Oh my. High priest reversed. This could have been a disconnect in the black in a blessed union. That explains the star reversed. This was like some 5D crap. This is playing the game. This was a soulmate union. Oh wow. So what's the five of pe or the king of pentacles all about? What's the king of pentacles all about? King of Swords. Oh, wow. One more. Ace of Cups. I have three kings on my board right now. There's a strong salad offer. Possibly being given by someone with a good head on their shoulders, someone smart, strategic. This is an honest cup. Okay. All right, I mean. That cup over there might be full of something for you this weekend, Earth Signs. So what's the deal with six wands? Two of Swords comes back out again. Some of you may be making the decision to Take the blindfold off and choose victory this weekend. I like it. The sun! The sun came back out! What do you know? You might be deciding to go around with the same person. Up here, this Nine of Pentacles, see how that world's flipped upside down? It wasn't as strong for one of you as the other. There may have been a comeback around. For some of you, not all of you. So you had decided not to go for it at one point. There was too much negative energy flow, Knight of Swords. Communications opening back up. Victory's coming back. Sun's coming out. Deciding to go for it. What's this Four of Pentacles all about? I don't know about this. Hi! Queen of Pentacles on top of her. Queen and King. But there's the Five of Cups reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed. You're still hanging on to something. You're still coming out of a state of sadness. You're still burdened. You haven't released it yet. This has wonderful potential, or signs. Wonderful potential. But you're still holding on to something. Not quite willing to let go of yet. Get some advice, huh? 
It may have something to do with that independence because the Queen of Pentacles is also extremely independent. Oh yeah. I'm good on my own. I got my own pentacle. I don't need anybody else's. And letting go of that aspect of yourself can be extremely scary. Love messes with us, doesn't it? Messes with us. Let's get some advice. The Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords are first. Don't go crazy. It's just a conversation. Don't cut the other person's throat out before they get a word in and go all crazy. It's just a conversation at this point. just talk. Don't cut the communication off because you're afraid. Three of Wands reverse the Prince of Pentacles. tuning in. The answer's right there. Don't walk away from the dock just yet. Because this may be that slow-moving offer of stability that you've been waiting for. Don't walk away from the dock just yet. There's a lot of pentacles here. I know you got plenty of your own. Five of Wands reversed in the Three of Cups. Oh, I think this is for the comeback around, people. The battle's over. It's time to just throw your weapons down and sit down, have a cup of coffee, recommune. Be friendly, cordial at least, hear what they have to say, but don't be all confrontational. Don't carry all that bitterness into the conversation with you. Wipe the slate off. Listen. Go, have a drink. Seven of wands in the reverse, two of wands in the reverse. But don't lose control. And don't steer from the path that you're going down. If you're going down a good path and you think you're good, you think you're set, stay on the path you're going down. Do what is best for you and the control of your journey. Just remember, there's no, there's no wrong path. All paths lead to the destination. It's just the journey you choose that makes it yours. Okay. I'm a little long-winded today, I feel like. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's definitely okay, though. sign friends. Do 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does the universe have in store for you this weekend? Felt like there was an, a rogue card in there for a second. That didn't feel quite right. Six of Wands reversed, Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wow. That looks like somebody getting knocked off their high horse this weekend, air sign friends. Somebody may be walking out of this weekend very humbled. Huh. Okay. World reverse, the sun reversed, connection. Something not closing out. Something can close out. Something was left hanging out there. Somebody may not have been happy with the connection. That's why it's disconnected. Could have had something to do with the eclipse. So if anybody had one of those weird disconnects around the time of the last eclipse, this may be for you. Three of Wands reversed King of Pentacles. <laughs> Just when you decide to walk away from the darn dock, stop waiting for that ship. Here it comes! Hmm, okay. Knight of Cups reverse Six of Swords. Okay. Okay. It may not have even been the last eclipse, just any eclipse, because that's the past position. I'm hearing that this has something to do with the eclipse, or it took place around the time of an eclipse. You know, it just, the moon is crazy freaking energy. There's a solar eclipse though. Either way, if it's setting off alarms, okay. If it's not, just walk away from it. All right. One more time. Why is the world reversed here? One time. Something got left hanging out there. Things were unequal in the connection. There was heartbreak. 
cycle didn't end, though. It never came to a close. There was just heartbreak. Some guy left hanging out there. May have been quick and abrupt. Why is the sun reversed here? World in the upright. Okay. And the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Karmic. Ended for one of you, but not the other. I'm not going to clarify this three of wands. I am going to clarify this King of Pentacles, though. Strength reversed. Lots of people coming up to play. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands reversed, and the Three of Wands. Oh, boy. Be careful with this one. Be careful. I don't think you trusted it. As soon as you walked away from the dock, there they came. You didn't trust it. You knew there was some... Seven of Swords, there was something sneaky, something not on the up and up. Something was being held from you. It may have been a little bit too anti-confrontational or avoidance of argument. Why is the Three of Wands here? Five of Cups. sadness. There's still a great deal of sadness. They may have come back because they were sad. Maybe they're the one that ended it and decided to come back, but they're not being straightforward. That looks like a solid offer, though. Two of Swords. Going in blind. I'm hearing take the blindfold off. Hmm. Okay. As for this weekend, Knight of Cups reversed. I don't think you're taking the cup. I think there's still... Yes, there's still two full cups here, but there's three spilt ones. And I think the three spilt cups, a little too much for you. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Thanks. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Wands. You're moving forward. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I think some of you have found the real catch. 
and you're not all about having the wind knocked out of your sails anymore, so you just knock the wind out of somebody else's sails. Picking up, dusting off, moving on. I like it. Letting go of that wand of the past and moving forward to something truly abundant. New. Not this old stuff. Now, some people would argue, but it's the King of Pentacles, it's the catch. There's a lot of craziness and insanity involved in this. I mean, how good is the offer, really? I mean, they might be able to give you every, every gift in the world. But if they can't give you the gift of honesty, yeah, yeah, I'm not all about that. I've had to tell many of the connections, I don't want your stuff, I don't want your money. I want you to pay my bills. I want you to be honest with me. You're releasing the burden of nine spilt cups. You're releasing a burden of sadness this weekend and you're moving on. Why is the six of swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here for my air sign friends? Ten of Swords are first! Page of Wands reversed! Oh, it was looking so good! One more. I don't want five, I want one. Okay, two. <sighs> Page of Cups reverse, death reverse. Here's the thing with moving on, guys. Be careful how you go about it. Be careful how you go about moving on. Because if you don't close the cycle out with this death in the reverse and this ten of swords in the reverse, if you leave anything hanging out there, you leave anything unsaid. It's not a true release. Does that make sense? Some of you may benefit from releasing them from any further obligation. You have to truly end the cycle. You can't just get your just desserts and knock the wind out of their sails and knock them off their high horse and end it like that because you won't truly end it. You won't. You have to be careful how you approach this. Okay? I don't be a jerk. I know you may want to, but don't. Don't be a jerk. All right, let's get your advice. No, now that you got mama's advice, get the advice from the cards. Judgment in the reverse and the devil reversed. Do you truly end this? And you have to disconnect from the toxic portions of this. You have to release yourself and them from the toxicity of this. It's not going to end. It's just going to keep going and going and going and you're still going to be connected. You have to release yourself from it. One more. Page of Swords in the upright and the Magician in the reverse. If you keep conversating with them, they're going to have puppet strings still. Whoever's been manipulating this, if you, until you cut their strings, they're still going to have power over it. And I think you've been manipulated, air sign friends. I think you've been manipulated. Hanged man and the four of wands. You need to accept the fate of this situation and go through the open door to the next and close it behind you. Accept the fate of the situation. Don't stay emotionally hung up on it. You have to close it out.
Okay, last little bit of advice from the cards for my air sign friends. The Eight of Pentacles and the High Priest Reverse. Work on you. Don't put the work into this connection anymore. Learn what you were supposed to learn from this connection and close it out. Let it disconnect. Work on you. Love you. And don't be a jerk when you do it. Okay. That's what I have for my hair sign friends. That eclipse energy was kind of weird. It really was. Specifically the last one. That was insane. Oh my god. I had a lot of friends come to me. What is going on? So-and-so said this and so-and-so did this and we've been together for years and I don't know what happened and I'm just like, I don't know. It's not my journey, man. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I know there was an eclipse. That's all I know. But apparently things weren't as good as you thought they were, were they? No, they weren't. Sometimes it takes that celestial energy to really bring things out the wash, don't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Water sign friends, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What do we have in store this weekend from our water sign friends? Oh, for crying out loud, shuffle. No. There we go. That's better. Three of Wands and Death Reverse. Some of you may be waiting for something that is not going to come. Okay. What happened? Nine of Cups, Two of Swords. It was bliss. It was one cup away. Or was it? And the or was it comes in with that Two of Swords. Somebody had a blindfold on. Somebody wasn't seeing something the way that it really was. Six of Cups, Page of Cups. You guys have been together for years. Happiness and bliss. What's with this cup? What's with this page of cups? Who's this? Get some clarity on that in a minute. What's going to happen this weekend? Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Oh, Nine of Swords reverse. Huh. Huh. Okay. I'm tracking. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity from my water sign friends, please?
Why is the Nine of Cups here? Seven of Wands. Eight of Cups, I get a Straggler. Five of Swords reversed. Wow. Somebody came and knocked your nine cups over with seven sticks. Then I think they left you with the pieces, friend. Wow. Somebody may have been a little bit of a control freak. Possibly. Maybe they had some inner demons they were battling. Before I could get the question out, why is the Two of Swords here? Wheel of Fortune reversed, King of Cups reversed, Nine of Cups reversed. Wasn't bliss. Downward turn of events when you take those rose-colored glasses off. See someone or something as they really are, or as it really is. Led to an emotional close-off, possibly a downward emotional cycle for you or the other party. Filling your cups with the wrong things, possibly. Oh boy, why is the Six of Cups here for what happened next? Oh, that's cute. I like that. Possibly a connection with someone from your childhood. And somebody giving you a cup. Aww. Why is. Or at least a soulmate connection may not have been this life, but somebody's coming in with a cup. Two of Swords reverse, painful decision. Oh. For whatever reason, you didn't take the cup at first. Offer may have been a little bit too strong. Could have been an age gap, possibly. Maybe they offered to lick some financial wounds, maybe. Ten of Wands, they came in wanting to release your burdens. But you can't rely on other people to relieve your burdens. That's something you gotta do. As soon as you get into one of those codependent messes, no. Mm -hmm. Why is Page Cups here? Lovers reversed. Yeah, they came in with the cup, but. You just weren't feeling the connection. Not as strong as them.
Ten of Pentacles reversed. You know, it wasn't happening. You just weren't feeling it. It wasn't going to be. You were still in process of the last one. Still waiting at the dock for something that's not going to happen. Why is the Page of Pentacles down here at the bottom for what's coming in this weekend? That's an apology, by the way. Emperor reversed. Oh, no. That's humbling. There may be an apology coming in this weekend, someone humbling themselves. Three of Wands reversed. Maybe the apology you've been waiting for. Knight of Swords. Could be an instant message or a text message. Random email, random phone call. Communication coming in. Apology. Something you thought wasn't coming. Could be. Why is the Nine of Swords reversed here? Oh boy. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, oh God, okay. Don't let this throw you into a tailspin this weekend, my water sign friends. The Nine of Swords, it doesn't necessarily mean in the reverse coming out of a state of being kept up all night, it, it means being up for days sometimes in the reverse. Don't don't let this little bit of communication, this apology send you into like this weird emotional tailspin and throw you off balance. An apology sometimes is just an apology. You need to take into account how much have they really changed. You need to ask yourself that. You waited for change. Not necessarily just an apology. Granted, an apology, that, that, that's beautiful. Someone comes back all vulnerable with the tail between your legs. Okay. Your advice. Four of Cups reversed and temperance. When that energy flow is a little bit more positive, don't ignore it or reject it. I mean, except the apology. Hmm. Will of Fortune in the upright, Hermit in the reverse. Don't allow a closing of a cycle to take you off your spiritual path, either. Because you're set out on a path. Don't put the rose-colored glasses back on, and don't put your head back in the sand and not see what's going on around you just because they apologized. Did change actually happen? Four of swords reversed, three of swords reversed. Don't let this screw your energy up. Don't get all restless and rowdy. Because you're still trying to come out of a state of heartbreak. That was on the bottom. <clears throat> Two of Wands reversed and karma. Karma being the judgment card in this particular deck. It's up to you what path you choose. There is no such thing as a wrong path. All paths lead to the destination. It's just what kind of a journey you feel like going on. It's your judgment call. But if you want to move forward, 
and not backward, I guess you have a decision to make, don't you? Okay, friends. Sorry it took so long. It was a little long-winded today. Hopefully this weekend I start feeling better and can actually pump some August readings out. I got this weird chest cold going on. Anyway, thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. Much love. Be blessed. Love you to bits. And if I don't see you guys for your zodiac signs over the weekend, I will see you Sunday night or Monday for the work week. Top and bottom of the deck. Bye for now.